Shares are up a bit ahead of the open earnings after the bell. The street has a buy on Oracle, price target of 125. What are you looking for? You say this is a really crucial quarter for the company. Yeah, we think it's a very crucial quarter. Um, you know, they've overpromised and underdelivered, if you will. And I think that's uh, what's going to cause uh, investors to be uh, lose confidence if they can't meet these numbers. So we're going to be looking at some very specific metrics from Ellison uh, and 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 Cats. Um, and one of those, I think, where they missed last time was really uh, the revenue uh, from the cloud offering uh, for sure. It's an AI tech led right race. Right. Um, and then at the same time, they're. The, the expense side of the equation is important because they're trying to build out uh, this data center. So they, they're sort of, you know, there's a challenge there, but they definitely have overpromised, And I think that's why okay. investors are disappointed up until now. So let's talk about the cloud business. The estimate has it rising by 11% year over year. I mean, there is growth there, but in your mind as an investor, is there enough growth? Because you have to remember, Oracle was really the first company to highlight a partnership with NVIDIA, AI capabilities. But the monetization, I talked to a, a private equity firm. They said, right now, we're in the monetization phase. What companies can monetize all this talk? Yeah, that's, that's exactly right, Frank. And, and, and uh, you know, what we're looking for is, you know, that cloud growth number to be very significant this quarter. Um, you know, enough is not, you know, uh, in this market, you know, AI tech-led bull market, um, you really want to be with the winners. And they have seemed to have a hard time monetizing in those last two quarters. So I think, again, they're gonna, this is the show me the money quarter. Um, we're going to be listening to Ellison and Katz okay. very closely. All right, speaking of showing me the money, uh, you just mentioned something, CapEx, the build out of data centers. So the estimate is for, for the, their guide, I should say, for the full year is about $8 billion in CapEx. Uh, right now, the estimates are for about $5.3 billion in CapEx for the second half of the year. Barclays out with a great note saying CapEx is really the only thing that matters because the higher CapEx they guide, that implies that they have revenue coming in that's going to justify it. Do you agree with that? Do you need to see a big commitment to CapEx to have confidence in this stock going forward? You know, that's I, I, I see what they're saying, but, you know, that's been the stock and the company's problem for the last two quarters is say it's on its way. You know, here it comes. Uh, but it, every time they report, it's not there. And, and again, this is a, an AI tech led bull market and there's companies monetizing significantly faster. Um, so even as a shareholder, again, I want to make sure that that monetizing machine, if you will, is really uh, up to speed this quarter. Otherwise, it's sort of like promise me this quarter, promise me next quarter. And uh, lots of other companies are, are nailing it. So I think investors you know, really want to listen closely to this. I think if they nail it, the stock's attractive. It's got a great upward trajectory from right. here. If they don't, I think it's a trading range stock.